All right, let's look at the real lovely use of logarithms. So when we were younger, we learned that we could solve things like problem one. What would you do to both sides to get X by itself? We taught you, hey, move the two over to the other side by subtracting two from both sides. And in problem two, we said, oh, the way we undo multiplication is we divide by the number in front of the X. And on this one, how do we get rid of dividing by five? Oh, we multiply both sides by five. How do I get rid of a square root? Oh, I square both sides. Well, how do I do this? Three to some power is 20. Now I know three squared is nine, but three to the third is 27, too much. So I know it's two point something, but how do I get it? Here's how we get it. Here is how we finally learn how when you have an unknown in the exponent, you've got to figure out the exponent, what you do is you come in and guess what you do? Oops, you take the log of both sides. Now, when I do this, when I take the log, this exponent actually moves down to the front. So what happens here is we have the exponent out front times the log of three, which is just some number the calculator knows, equals the log of 20. How do I now undo that multiplying by this log of three, which is just some number? I divide both sides by the log of three. And when I do that, I now have X by itself. And all I need to do is use the calculator to look up log of 20 divided by log of three, which is about 2.72. You look at any calculator, you're going to see the log button on there. So that's pretty easy. Let's look at the next one. How do I move that exponent, the unknown, down in front? To do that, you simply take the log of both sides. That'll move it down front. So I now have X times the log of two equals the log of 10. How do I undo it? Now I'll simply divide by the log of two, divide by the log of two, and X will equal whatever the calculator says, the log of 10, which I do know the log of 10 is one. And the log of basically, basically one divided by the log of two, 3.32 and a bunch of extras. But just round to the hundreds is fine. What about this problem? Well, first step is obviously move the number over with the other number. So we're going to subtract 10 to start us. I have four to the X equals 80. Now, how do I move that exponent down? I take the log of both sides. So we have X times the log of four equals the log of 80. And now to get X by itself, I simply divide by the log of four. It's that simple. This is where logarithms really help us. And when I grab the calculator and I do that, I got 3.16. This lesson should be very simple. All you're going to do each time, you take the logarithm of both sides to bring the exponent down, and then you divide by whatever logs in your X is being multiplied by.